That doesn't sound good. The bridge! It's breaking behind us! If we're gonna make it across, we've gotta go faster. Quick, let's check our speedometer. A speedometer is a tool that measures how fast a vehicle is moving. In a truck, the speedometer measures the speed your wheels are spinning. And the faster your wheels are spinning, the faster the speedometer says you're going. Click the speedometer to activate speedometer view. Activating speedometer view! To get across this bridge in time, we need to go a speed of five. And right now, the arrow is pointing to this number. What number is the arrow pointing to? Three! Yeah! Uh-oh! That's not fast enough! We've got to speed up! Look! The arrow on our speedometer is going up! Now what number is it pointing to? That's the speed we need! Whoa. To get across this last bridge, we need to go our fastest speed yet! A speed of 10! The speedometer says we're going this speed. What number is this? Eight! Yeah! That's not fast enough! Hang on, Blaze! I'll speed us up! Now what speed are we going? Ten! Right! Oh, yeah! We made it! And just in time! But we can't stop now. We've got to rescue Crusher and Pickle. Yeah, before that hot air balloon gets to the slime volcano. AJ, give me some speed! There's the hot air balloon! Come on! We can follow him if we go through that tunnel! <laughs> Hang on, AJ. Did you hear that? Hmm, that's strange. It kind of sounds like... <laughs> Bighorns! <laughs> Oh, man! How are we going to get past all those bumping bighorns? Uh, hey, maybe these could help. It's a box full of stuffed animals. Yeah, these must be what the bighorns use to fall asleep at bedtime. <laughs> Quick, let's see if this teddy bear makes that bighorn feel sleepy. Hey, bighorn! <laughs> We use these stuffed animals, we can get past all the bighorns. Listen, that sounds like another bighorn. He must be hiding. Look carefully. When you see the bighorn, say bighorn. There's another big horn hiding nearby. Help us look. When you see the big horn, say big horn. Big horn, by those toasters. <laughs> Nighty night. Just have to get past one last bighorn. And it sounds like he's somewhere over there. When you see the bighorn, 
Say, Bighorn. Getting past all those bumping bighorns. Now let's hurry and rescue Crusher and Pickle before they get to the slime volcano. AJ, give me some speed. Look, there goes the hot air balloon. Uh oh, but it's flying over the water. We've got to find some way to follow it across the water and fast. I know what we need the fastest boat in the whole world. A thunderbolt! Yeah! Help build the parts to turn me into a thunderbolt. Let's drag over the parts to make Blaze into a thunderbolt. First, drag over the planing hull. It keeps the thunderbolt floating high on top of the water. Planing hull! Now, drag over the propeller. It spins to push the boat forward. Drag over the powerful engines to make the boat go really fast. Engines! Oh yeah! I'm a Thunderboat Monster Machine! Whoa! Hop in, AJ, and give me some Thunderboat speed! Cannonballs are coming from. I think I know where. It's those pirates. Yeah. Fire the cannonball! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phew. Those pirates sure love sinking ships. Well, they're not gonna sink us, cause I've got an idea. Look, see that rock in the water? It's shaped like a ramp. Yeah! If we drop our Thunderbolt fast enough off a ramp, we can jump over the pirate ships. Come on, let's go for it. Click on Blaze to activate speedometer view. Awesome! Activating speedometer view. To jump over the red pirate ship, we need to go a speed of 30. To jump over the red pirate ship, we need a speed of 30. Click the number 30. Great! Let's count by tens to 30. Repeat after me. 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30! There's just one pirate left, the blue pirate, and he's got the biggest ship of all. Yeah, you'll never get past the likes of me. Oh. To jump over the blue pirate ship, we need to go our fastest speed yet, a speed of 60. To jump over the blue pirate ship, we need a speed of 60. Let's click the number 60. Great. Repeat after me. 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60! We've got to hurry and save them before they get to the slime volcano. Come on! Oh no! 
Crusher and Pickle are about to crash into the slime volcano! Gaskets! If we're gonna save them in time, we've gotta go faster! Let's increase our speed all the way to 100! 100? Whoa! We've never gone that fast before! But we can do it, cause we've got blazing speed! <laughs> to give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's check our speedometer to see if we're going 100. Is the arrow pointing to 100? Yes! We're coming, Crusher and Pickle! Supercharged engine. Super. Supercharged engine. Last, we'll add the aerodynamic shape. Amazing. Aerodynamic shape. Now, to turn me into a race car, say race car. Race car. Get set. Go! Woo Race cars, rip it up! <laughs> All right! Uh, guys? I don't think we're the only ones in this cave. Sounds like some kind of animal. Uh-oh, I hope it's not bears. Or lions. Or... Ah! Giant chickens! Oh, oh man! These chickens keep pecking us! Let's get out of here! Fast. They're like the fastest chickens I've ever seen. Don't worry. We can outrun them with our velocity. Yeah. 
Velocity is how fast you're going in a certain direction. And race cars can go really fast in any direction. Uh-oh! This red chicken's catching up! <laughs> Look, the chicken's velocity is five. So, to get away, we need our velocity to be more than five. I know! Let's make our velocity three! Hmm, is three more than five? No, that's not fast enough. We need more velocity. Stop! Ew! How about we speed up to seven? Let's see, is seven more than five? Yeah! Let's make our velocity seven! He can't pick us now! Ooh. Look out! Here comes the blue chicken! The blue chicken is even faster than the red one! Yeah! The blue chicken's velocity is eight, so we'd better speed up! Ooh! Zag want to go ten! Is 10 more than 8? Yeah! Let's speed up to 10! Bye, chicken! Phew! No chicken could possibly catch us now! Uh-oh! This green chicken's the fastest one yet! Hubcaps! The green chicken's velocity is 14! Maybe we should increase our velocity to 11! Hmm, is 11 more than 14? No, we're gonna have to speed up more than that! Ow! <laughs> hey, Blaze, what if we go 20? Let's see, is 20 more than 14? Yes! 20 will make our velocity more than the chickens! <laughs> So long, chickens! Man, am I glad to be out of that cave! <laughs> Me too! Now come on, let's use our velocity to get to Eagle Rock and win this race! <laughs> Say love being race car! Me too! I can't wait to get to Eagle Rock and... Gaskets, look out! Yuck! That blaster thingy just blasted us with slippery slime! Check it out. The slime blaster shoots slime out of those holes. But maybe we can block the holes with... Pine cones! Hey, Slime Blaster, catch! Yeah! Good going! Those Slime Blasters can't stop us! Come on! Careful, Blaze! The other Slime Blasters are hiding in those trees! Help us look for them! When you see a Slime Blaster, say, Slime Blaster! Slime Blaster! Or maybe not! Five more slime blasters! Straight ahead! Quick, everybody! Take a pine cone! <laughs> Ready? Set? Throw! And check it out! There's Eagle Rock! Look at that! Oh, ho, ho. If we're gonna win this race, we'd better hurry! Race cars! Rip it up! Crusher! <laughs> Bet you never saw this coming! <laughs> Get it? This river's moving really fast! And it's taking us farther and farther away from the race! Uh-oh, how we stop? What we need is something we can use as an anchor. 
Yeah! When a boat lowers its anchor into the water, the anchor digs into the ground and slows the boat down. Say, fellas, I know what we can use for an anchor. A wrench! Good thinking, Starla. Let's test it and see if the wrench stops us. Here goes! Ugh. The wrench sunk and is digging into the bottom of the river. We're slowing down! Let's check our velocity. With the wrench as our anchor, our velocity went down to this number. What number is this? Eight, right! But to stop, we need to get our velocity down to zero. Let's try something else. Ooh, what about frying pan? Yeah, let's test it and see if a frying pan makes a good anchor. Okie dokie. Look, the frying pan's digging even more than the wrench. It made our velocity go down to this number. What number is this? Five, yeah. Our velocity went down. But we won't stop until we get to zero. Arr, we need another anchor. Something that'll dig in really deep. And we better find it fast, because we're heading straight for that waterfall! <laughs> hey, guys, how about this for an anchor? A shovel! Yeah, I bet that'll really dig into the bottom. The shovel is digging in deep. Check it out. It's making our velocity go down to this number. What number is this? Zero! Look, we're stopping! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Right. Ooh, and wait till you see what's down there! It's the racetrack! Come on, follow me! <laughs> <laughs> It's time for some blazing speed. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> to give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! Together. Race cars! Ready now! <laughs> Click on the first game to play! Great! Let's give it a try! Okay! <laughs> wow! What just happened? Blaze! AJ! You're in the game! Wow! Sparkle's right! We're inside the arcade game. Yeah, there's the crown, and there's the king's castle. Remember, to win the game, we need to bring the crown to the king. And we better do it fast, because he wants the crown too. Gaskets, it's a giant troll. Me want crown. Troll is catching up. We need a speed boost to outrun him. Hey, I bet one of those could give us a speed boost. They're 3D shapes. Yeah! 
3D shapes are shapes that have three dimensions. The length, how long it is from front to back, the width, how long it is from side to side, and the height, how tall it is from top to bottom. There are lots of 3D shapes. To get a speed boost, we need the 3D shape that has squares on all sides. We need a cube. Let's do it. Quick, help us find a cube. Which of these shapes has squares on all sides? The yellow one. Yeah, it's a cube. Want crowd? Here you go, your majesty. Congratulations, brave heroes. You've brought me my crown and won the game. <laughs> you did it! You won! And look, now we're getting tickets. Let's add them up and see how many we've got. We had 10 tickets, and now we've got 20 more. 10 plus 20 equals 30. We've got 30 tickets. To win the glitter rocket, we need 100. Do we have enough? No, not yet. That's OK. We just have to win some more video games. Yeah! We're Video Game Heroes! Ooh! Check out that game! It's got outer space and unicorns! Yeah! It's the game Space Unicorns! Click on the next game to play it! Awesome! Whoa! <laughs> that looks really fun! Go on, Sparkle. Give it a try. Okay, here goes. <laughs> it worked! I'm inside the game! Huh, I wonder where all the unicorns went. Hey! To rescue us, jump on the right 3D shapes. But jump on the wrong shape, and it's game over. Hey! To save me, find the shapes that look like this. A cone! When you see a cone, say cone! Hey. You saved me, Sparkle! Help! <gasps> Look! Another unicorn! To rescue me, bounce on 3D shapes that look like this. A hemisphere! When you see a hemisphere, say hemisphere. Now there's only one unicorn left to rescue. To save me, find the 3D shapes that have triangles on all their sides. A tetrahedron. When you see a tetrahedron, shout tetrahedron. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Sparkle! You saved us! And won the game! Yeah! You did it, Sparkle! And look! For winning the Space Unicorn game, you got 30 tickets! Whoa! Check it out! We had 30 tickets, and now we've got 30 more! 30 plus 30 equals... 60! That's a lot of tickets! 
To win the Glitter Rocket, we need 100 tickets. Do we have enough? No, not quite. Don't worry, team. We just need to win one more game. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's get playing! Video Game Heroes! Ooh, I've never seen this game before. Well, come on. Let's give it a try. Click on the last game to play it. <laughs> Wow! We look like jet planes! Gaskets! It's a giant dinosaur pig! It's a pigosaurus! Oink, 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 oink! We've got to stop that grumpy Pigasaurus from destroying the city! Hmm, if only we knew what a Pigasaurus likes to eat! I bet that could make her happy! Ooh, I know how we can figure out what she likes! Look! There's a 3D shape over Pigasaurus's head! It's a sphere! Yeah, that means Pigasaurus is hungry for something shaped like a sphere! Help me find a food that's shaped like a sphere! Which food is shaped like a sphere? The banana, the strawberry, or the orange? The orange, yeah! Oranges away! Pigasaurus likes the oranges! And look! One of the hearts on her tummy turned green! That means she's starting to feel full! But now Pigasaurus is hungry for a new 3D shape! A cylinder! Oink! Oink! Whoa! Help us find a cylinder-shaped food to feed Pigasaurus! Which food is shaped like a cylinder? The burrito, the donut, or the pizza? The burrito! Right! Burrito! Blast! Look! Another heart on Pigasaurus turned green! We just need to feed her one more kind of food! She'll be full! Yeah, a food shape like a triangular prism! <laughs> Quick, let's find a food shaped like a triangular prism! Which food is shaped like a triangular prism? The pretzel, the cookie, or the cheese? The cheese! Yeah! This is full! We won the game! Great teamwork, everyone! And look, for winning the game, we earned 40 tickets! That's the most tickets yet! Check it out! We had 60 tickets, and now we earned 40 more! 60 plus 40 equals... One hundred! Do we have enough tickets to get the glitter rocket? Yeah! We did it! We won a glitter rocket! Oh, thank you, Blazin' AJ! Aw, oh, you're welcome. Go on, Sparkle, try it! Sparkle, follow that rocket!
it! Oh, yeah! Yeah! How will I ever get home if I can't see anything? <laughs> Help! Poor King! We have to save him! But how? Let's turn Blaze and AJ into knights so they can help the King! I'll be Sir Blaze! And I'll be Sir AJ! Now let's go save the King! Charge! <laughs> Look, Sir Blaze, a sign! It says we're entering the land of Bighorn Barbarians! I sure hope we don't run into any of them! <laughs> and I sure hope they don't run into any of us! <laughs> 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 Oh, man! Those bighorn barbarians are smashing everything! Then to get past them, we need something even a bighorn can't smash. We need metal! Yeah! Check it out! Metal things are really strong. They have tiny particles inside that stick together super tight, so that even when something bangs into them really hard, the particles stay together and the metal doesn't break. Zeke, Zeke! Hey, look! Zeke found something metal. A metal shield. Way to go, Zeke! Zeke! This way, knights! Be careful, Sir Blaze! That sounds like more bighorns! Where are the bighorns hiding? Yeah! Behind the logs! <laughs> Metal Shield! <laughs> <laughs> We've almost made it past the bighorn barbarians! Sounds like the last of them are hiding somewhere over there. Now where are those big horns hiding? <laughs> yes, behind those crates. <laughs> Metal shield. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We stopped the big horn barbarians. <laughs> Now, come on, knights! Let's go rescue the king! Yeah! <laughs> Look, up ahead! It's a drawbridge! Oh, no! It's closing! Whoa! Now there's no way to get across the river! Zeke! 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 But look! Zeke knows what to do! If we put keys in these keyholes, it'll unlock the drawbridge and make it come down again. <laughs> That's great! But getting the keys isn't gonna be easy. Look! They're being guarded by sleeping bighorn barbarians! Zeke! <laughs> Don't worry, Zeke. I know how we can get those keys. We'll use a magnet! Yeah! The keys are made out of metal. And remember, Metal has all those particles inside. When you use a magnet, its magnetic field pulls on some of those particles. So, if we have a strong enough magnet, it will pull the keys from the bighorns. Uh, let's build the parts and turn me into the most powerful magnet there is, an electromagnet. First, drag over the generator for electricity so we can power our magnet. Generator! Amazing! Now, drag over the iron bar. That will be the core of our magnet and make the magnetic field stronger. Iron bar! Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> 
Last, drag over the wire. It wraps around the iron bar to turn the electric power into magnetic power. Wire! Awesome! Alright! I'm an electromagnet monster machine! Yeah! Now let's get those metal keys. Electromagnet magnetize! <laughs> Help AJ aim the electromagnet to grab the first key. Should he aim to the left or to the right? Left! Yeah! <laughs> we got the first key! Look, Zeke! The bridge is starting to come down! Now let's get the second key from that big horn up there! <laughs> electromagnet! Magnetize! To get this key, should we aim higher or lower? Higher! Great! <laughs> Zeke, Zeke, Zeke! That's right, Zeke! Just one more key and the bridge will be all the way down! Electromagnet Magnetize! To get this last key, should AJ aim to the left or to the right? Yeah, to the right! Nice job! Woohoo! We did it! Yeah! We got the drawbridge down! Woohoo! Now hop in, Zeke, and I'll drive us across the drawbridge. Uh oh, and we better hurry! Look! The big horns are starting to wake up! Then we've got to get across this drawbridge super fast! Time for blazing speed! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! I hear it too, Zeke. It sounds like... The King! No, oh dear. I still can't see with this crown covering my eyes. <coughs> Poor King. He's still bumping into trees. <coughs> and logs. And... Whoa! A big trap! Zeke, Zeke! Who would want to catch the King in a trap? I think I know who. <laughs> it's the Bighorn Barbarians! Uh-oh! And look what they've got now! A cannon! <laughs> Whoa! Zeke, Zeke! Don't worry, Zeke. We'll find a way to get past that cannon. We just need a plan. Yeah! Let's think. Cannons shoot out cannonballs made of metal, and the particles of metal stick together so tight, it's almost impossible to break. But if we heat up the metal, the particles will move farther and farther apart until the metal melts. If only we had something super hot that could melt those metal cannonballs. Zeke! 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 That's right! Zeke! Do you think you can melt those cannonballs with your fire? Zeke! All right! You're one brave little dragon, Zeke! Now hop on! We've got a king to save! <laughs> More cannonballs headed this way! Let's count them! One, two, three, four! Four cannonballs! Now let's tell Zeke to melt him. Say, Blast 4, Zeke! Blast 4, Zeke! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah nice blasting! Zeke! And look! We're almost at the king! <laughs> But here come the most cannonballs yet! Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six! Say, blast six! 
six, Zeke. Last six, Zeke. Nothing can stop us from saving the king! Ooh. Huzzah! I'm free! Oh, if only I could see who rescued me. <gasps> oh, you really are the best dragon a king could ever ask for. <laughs> oh, and of course. I owe a great thanks to you, Blazing AJ. I hereby declare you the bravest knights in all the land. <laughs> now, as for you, Bighorn Barbarians, you have been most naughty today. I think you owe us an apology. <laughs> apology accepted. <laughs> And now that we're all friends, I proclaim it's party time! Yes! To save Crusher and Pickle, we've got to find some way to get past these bumping bighorns. But this ice is super slippery. How are we going to steer past them? Hey, I know. To get past the bighorns, we're going to need more friction. Yeah. Friction is a force that happens when two things rub together. Blaze's skis and the ice are both really smooth so they slide over each other really easily. There's not much friction. But what if instead of skis, we had a snowcat? Snowcats have tracks that are rough and bumpy, so when they move over the smooth ice, it's harder to slip and slide. There's more friction. Yeah! Come on, let's make the parts to turn me into a snowcat. First, drag over the tracks. They create friction on the ice. Awesome! Track! Next, drag over the sprockets. They make the tracks turn. Sprockets! Oh, yeah! I'm a snowcat! can drive on the ice because we've got... Friction! Help us look out for bighorns so I can steer past them. If you see a bighorn, say bighorn. Bighorn! Just one bighorn left. Help us keep a lookout for him. When you see the last bighorn, shout bighorn. Bighorn! To save Crusher and Pickle, we're going to need a boat that can get us to the other side fast. Yeah, but water can have choppy waves that slow boats down. There's too much friction, so we need a hovercraft. Hovercrafts glide on air above the water. The air is smooth, so there's less friction, and the hovercrafts can move really fast. Come on, let's get 
building. First, drag over the skirt. It lifts the hovercraft above the water. Skirt! Now, drag over the fan. It makes the hovercraft move forward really fast. We gotta use our hovercraft to find those baby penguins and save them. We're coming, penguins! Listen, that sounds like a baby penguin. Help us figure out how to steer our hovercraft so we can save them. The first baby penguin is here. To rescue him, should we go up, left, up? Yeah, let's do it! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we got you, penguin! <gasps> that sounds like another baby penguin! This penguin is way over here. To get to her, should we go left, up, left? Yeah, that's the way! Oh, yeah! Way to go, Hovercraft Blaze! Now there's just one baby penguin left! I hear her! To save this last penguin, should we go right, down, right? No, let's try a different way. What if we go like this? Right, up, right. Will that get us to the penguin? Yeah! Penguins? Over there! It's your parents! The penguins are so happy to be back together again! Now come on, AJ! Let's get moving! Yeah, we've got a safe crusher and pickle! Snow rescue! Go! It's Crusher and Pickle! They're getting carried off into those super tall mountains! Then to save them, we need a vehicle that can fly! We need a Snow Rescue Helicopter! First, drag over the rotor blades. They let the helicopter fly and steer through the air. Rotor blades! Now, drag over the rescue rope so we can pull our friends out of danger. Amazing! Rescue rope! Oh, yeah! I'm a snow rescue helicopter monster machine! Blaze, those look like storm clouds. Gaskets, it's an ice storm. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Phew, 
Ah! Ah, don't worry, Crusher. Those polar bears are way down there. And we're all the way up here. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, it's not like we're about to fall or anything. <laughs> Save Crusher and Pickle before they fall. Then it's time for a helicopter blazing speed. <laughs> to give me blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! <laughs> show you how it's done. <laughs> Whee! Wait for me! Track, it looks like first we'll have to get past the Colossal Cliff. Huh, wonder why they call it a Colossal Cliff. Whoa-ho! That's why. Sure is a long way to the other side. Whoa. What in tarnation? Whoa! Check out all those geysers. They're really blasting a lot of steam. Shoot! Wait! How do them geysers do that? Take a look. Switching to visor view. There are pools of hot water deep under the ground. When they heat up to 100 degrees Celsius, the water starts to bubble and changes into steam. That's called boiling. And when the boiling water makes so much steam that it has nowhere to go, kaboom! It blasts up out of the ground! Hey, Starla, I've got an idea. What if we ride the steam that comes out of the geyser? Well, I'll be. I bet one blast could carry us right across that colossal cliff. Come on, let's look underground to see which geyser's gonna blast next. Look carefully. Which pool of water is boiling? The middle one, yeah! The water is boiling and changing to steam. Here I go! <laughs> now which pool of water is boiling? Yeah, the left one. That water is also boiling and changing to steam. Check it out. We've already crossed a colossal cliff. So to get to the Bouncing Bull racetrack, the next place we have to go through is the Red Rock Canyon. Well, bust my bumpers. That must be Red Rock Canyon right there. Well, come on, everyone. This way. <laughs> it's <laughs> Skunk Bandits. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 
wire. How are we gonna get away from them? I've got an idea. Look up there. Big rocks! We can use those to block the canyon so the skunks can't follow us. Check it out! This part of the canyon is three meters wide, so we need a rock that's exactly three meters to block the skunks. Find the rock that's three meters. Look for the rock that goes up to the number three on the ruler. Which rock goes up to three? That one. Right, it's exactly three meters. Great work! Canyon is seven meters wide. Which rock goes to the number seven? You got it! It's just the right size! So long, Skunk Bandits! Bouncing Bull Racetrack, here we come! Getting super close to the Bouncing Bull Racetrack. All we have left to do is follow the tracks of the Rusty Railroad. This way, fellas! I got you, Starla! Thanks, Blaze! That was close! So what do we do now? If we try to drive on these old train track rails, we'll fall off. Hmm. These rails weren't made for monster machines. To ride on them, we need a steam engine. Yeah! Steam engines are trains that use the power of boiling. They have a firebox inside that heats up a tank of water until it reaches 100 degrees. Then, steam from the boiling water pushes against pistons so the train can drive. Well, shoot! Wait! Let's make a steam engine and ride these rails! First, drag over the firebox. The firebox heats the water. Firebox! Next, drag over the boiler. The boiler holds all the boiling water. Boiler! Great! Now drag over the piston. When the boiling water turns into steam, it pushes the piston to make the train go. Pistons! Oh yeah! I'm a steam engine monster machine!
this ought to make sure they don't get there before me. <laughs> Crusher blocked the tunnel through these mountains. Hey, but look over there. It's another tunnel. But to follow it, we'll need some way to ride on those old train tracks. Hey, I know what we could use to ride on those tracks. A steam engine. Yeah. A steam engine boils water to make steam. And that steam pushes a piston to make the train's wheels turn. Come on! To turn Blaze into a steam engine, first, drag over the special driving wheels to keep Blaze steady on the track. Driving wheels! Nice! Next, drag over the boiling tank. It holds all the boiling hot water. Boiler! Last, drag over the chimney. The chimney pumps out smoke and steam. Chimney! Oh, yeah! I'm a steam engine monster machine! All right! Yeah! Full steam ahead! Full of big shiny gemstones. <laughs> Hubcaps, we've got to get through this cave without getting hit by falling gems. I know. We can keep away from the gems if we predict where they're gonna fall. Yeah! When you predict, you use what you know to make your best guess about what's gonna happen next. Look, more gemstones up ahead! And we know the gems always lean in the direction they're about to fall. Which track do you think they're going to fall on? The yellow track or the blue track? The blue track, yeah! Quick, take the yellow track instead! Our prediction was right! Yeah! <gasps> Watch out, please! Whoa! We have to get past one last pile of gemstones. Let's predict. Which track do you think they're going to fall on? The yellow track, yes! Almost mine! And I bet it's gonna be something so oh, good! <laughs> Daring time! Daring time? Oh, I can't let him win the race! Looks like I'll need one last cheat! Something no one will ever get past! I'll make. Gargantuan guards! <laughs> oh, man! If we're gonna get to that golden gift, we've gotta find some way past those gargantuan guards! Hey, wait! I've got an idea! What if we find something big and heavy that rolls? Yeah! Then we can roll it at those guards and knock them out of the way! Ooh! Zeg find big round bowling ball! Zeg! Good one, Zeg! I wonder if that'll roll. Let's predict. When we push this bowling ball, do you think it'll roll? Okay, let's see. <laughs> it's rolling! Yay! <laughs> Get 
statue and guard. <laughs> but there's still two more blocking the way. Hey, maybe we can roll this big wooden block at them. Hmm, what do you think? When we push the block, do you think it's gonna roll? Let's find out. Nope, the block doesn't roll. Better look for something else. Uh, hey! What about this giant rock I found? Good idea, Darrington. If we push this rock, do you think it'll roll? All right, let's try it. Now there's only one gargantuan guard left! Hey, go! I wonder if we can roll this at him! Whoa! That big watermelon! Let's predict! When we push the watermelon, do you think it's gonna roll? Let's find out! It's rolling! So long, gargantuan guards! <laughs> hey, everyone, look! There it is! The golden gift! <gasps> but Crusher's almost there! Golden gift? <laughs> Gonna be... <laughs> Uh-oh, that bad! We can't let Crusher get there first! Then it's time to use blazing speed! <laughs> to give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! <laughs> no one can possibly beat me to the golden gift now! Ah, we won the race! Hoppin' Hubcaps! Look, y'all! Something's happening to the golden gift! <gasps> gift opening! Now we can finally see what's inside! a police car. First, track over the flashing lights and siren. They help everyone know a police car is coming. Next, track over the searchlight. It helps us look for things that are hard to find. Great! Now, Drag over the official police badge. Outstanding! Oh, yeah! I'm a 
a police car. Monster machine. Whoa! Looking good, Blaze. Now let's get out there and start helping people. Yeah, it's time to be police officers. Look. Officer Blaze, Officer AJ. Hey, kids. What's the problem? I'm trying to visit my grandma. Me too. So am I. But we can't figure out where our grandmas live. We're lost. Can you help us? Aw, of course we'll help you. That's what police officers do. But how are you going to find where our grandmas live? There's only one way to figure this out. We'll use deduction. Yeah. Deduction is using the facts you know to get closer and closer to an answer. Are you ready to find your grandma now? Uh-huh. I know my grandma lives somewhere with a green door, orange flowers, and one window. Whoa, good remembering. Come on, let's use those facts to find grandma's building. Which of these buildings has a green door, orange flowers, and one window? That one, right. Oh, Grandma, I'm here. Oh, and you're just in time, too. I made fresh lemonade. Mmm, delicious. And how about some lemonade for you, officers? Sure. Thank you, ma'am. Mmm. Mm. Now you do keep up the good work. We will. Hop in, Officer AJ. We've got to get moving. Yeah, there's still more police work to do. Police officers, let's ride! And police officers! Yeah! Look, there's our friend Debris, the garbage truck. My puppy Pierre, where are you? He sounds like he really needs our help. What's the matter, Debris? Ah, Officer Blaze, Officer AJ! I'm so worried about my puppy Pierre. I brought him to the park, and I cannot find him anywhere. <gasps> he is lost. A lost puppy? Oh, no! Don't worry, Debris. We'll find your puppy, Pierre. And it sounds like we're not the only ones ready to help. Look! It's Officer Anna! <laughs> Reported for duty. Oh, yeah. All right! I came as quick as I could. Oh, merci! Well, you're just in time, Officer Anna. This lost puppy is our biggest case yet. Hmm. Then we better be on the lookout for clues. Oh, that bark! I know that bark anywhere. That's Pierre. But where could he be? It sounded like it came from over there. Come on, officers. Let's ride! Huh. I wonder where Pierre could have gone. The puppy's not here, but look! There's a trail of leaves coming from that leaf pile. You're right, Officer Blaze. He must have gone through that leaf pile and run that way. Follow those leaves! <laughs> look! The leaves go right to that mud puddle. That's where Pierre must have gone next, through the mud. See? Muddy tire tracks. Come on, the muddy tracks lead this way. Aha, uh -huh. a dog park. Pierre the puppy must be one of these dogs. But how are we gonna figure out which dog is Pierre? I know, we'll use deduction. Remember, deduction is using facts to get closer and closer to an answer. Let's think, what facts do we know about Pierre? Here's a fact. We know Pierre went through a pile of leaves. So the dog we're looking for is going to have leaves on it. Good thinking, AJ. Let's count how many of these dogs have leaves on them. Okay, dogs, line up. Count the dogs that have leaves. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Great! So Pierre must be one of these five dogs. What other facts do we know? Hmm, we know that after the leaves, Pierre went through a mud puddle. 
So the dog we're looking for is going to have muddy tires. Let's count how many of these dogs have muddy tires. Count the muddy dogs with me. One, two, three. That means Pierre must be one of these three dogs. I just wish we knew one more fact about Pierre. Wait, I remember something. His bark. Oh, yeah. We heard Pierre make a barking noise that sounded like this. Listen carefully to hear which dog has the same bark. Which dog sounds like Pierre? That one, yeah! Great work! Hey there, little puppy. Are you Pierre? He found it! Oh, we sure are happy to see you, pup. But not as happy as someone else we know. Pierre! Thanks for playing. Oh, Pierre, I was so worried about you. Oh, thank you, officers. If it weren't for you, I would never have found my puppy, Pierre. And I wouldn't have found my grandma. Mm-hmm, that's true. Let's hear it for Officer Blaze and Officer AJ, heroes of Axo City. <laughs> hey, that's strange. Every toothbrush in Axel City is being taken away. Look, the toothbrushes are going into that giant rocket ship. Time to become... Special Mission Blaze! We're on a mission to retrieve the missing toothbrushes in Axel City that were taken by the toothbrush taker. Awesome. Check it out! These buttons give Special Mission Blaze cool new upgrades. Let's press the green button to try submarine mode. With submarine power, I can travel underwater. Now let's press the purple button to try force shield mode. With a force shield, I can block anything that gets in our way. Last, press the orange button to try laser mode. The laser can give us the power to cut through anything. Wow. Now nothing can stop us from getting those toothbrushes. the Toothbrush Taker's Island. To get to the Toothbrush Taker's Island across the ocean, which mission mode button should we press? The submarine button, the shield button, or the laser button? The submarine button, right! Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe we can find something to float them away. Yeah! We just need to find things that don't have a lot of density. Density is all about the particles inside of things. When something has lots of heavy particles inside, it has more density. But when something has fewer, lighter particles, it has less density. Things that have more density tend to sink. And things that are less dense tend to float. Here, maybe one of these can float the chomper fish away. We've got beach balls and bowling balls. Beach balls have a density of two. And bowling balls have a density of eight. Which number is less, two or eight? Two, right! That means beach balls have less density. Load the beach balls! Let's press this button to launch the beach balls. Beach balls away! 
Fish is floating away! Come on! These chopper fish can't stop us, cause we know about density! We did it! We got past the chopper fish and made it to the toothbrush shaker's island! And look! There's his secret hideout! Come on, everybody! Let's go get our toothbrushes back! Special, Special mission! mission. The rocket ship with all our toothbrushes inside. Oh, finally! My toothbrush! I'm coming, toothbrush! Crusher, wait! There still could be one last... Trap! Gaskets! A giant trap! <laughs> <gasps> and look! It's... Tooth City 2! <laughs> the toothbrush taker! Well, well, special mission, Blaze. <laughs> I should have known you'd try to stop me. You won't get away with this, toothbrush taker. Oh, but I already have. Rocket ship preparing for blast off. <laughs> it's finally working. Oh, no. We'll never get our toothbrushes back in time. Oh, yes, we will. Because that toothbrush taker forgot about one thing. We've still got our special mission modes. To cut through the metal, which button should we press? The submarine button, the shield button, or the laser button? The laser button. Right! Rocket ship blasting off. The rocket's taking off with all the toothbrushes! <laughs> the only way to stop it is to press that off button. And fast! Then it's time to use special mission blazing speed! <laughs> to give me blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Rocket ship turning off. But toothbrush taker, I don't understand. Why'd you want to get rid of everyone's toothbrushes? Yeah, don't you like brushing your teeth? Actually, the truth is I, I, I don't know how to brush my teeth. <laughs> hey, that's okay. We can teach you how to brush your teeth. Really? Yeah. All you have to do is take your toothbrush, add some toothpaste, and start brushing. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, my teeth feel so sparkly and clean. <laughs> Rocket ship, return the toothbrushes. Rocket ship, returning toothbrushes. our friend Commander Megan. She's an astronaut. <gasps> Asteroids! Gaskets! That asteroid hit the ship's thruster. We'll have to go into outer space and rescue her. 
But how will we do that, Blaze? We'll transform ourselves into monster machine space robots! Let's do it! <laughs> Let's turn the monster machines into space robots. First, drag over the robot body. Roborific! Next, drag over the delta wings to help the space robots with takeoffs and landings. Fantastic! Now, drag over the robot thrusters so the space robots can blast through space really quickly! Looking good, Robot Blaze! Thanks, Commander Megan! Now hang on! Your space robot friends are on their way! Yeah! Let's count down from three. Which of these is the number three? Good job! Let's start counting! Three, two, one, blast off! Check it out! We're here by planet Earth! And to rescue Commander Megan, we need to get to Pluto. Way over here! Hoppin' Hopcats! Pluto sure is far! You know what we need? A shortcut! That's a wormhole! A tunnel through space-time! Sounds like a shortcut to me! Come on, everyone! This way! <laughs> Friends! You made it! Uh-oh! But look out behind you! <gasps> Asteroids! Headed this way! Oh, I know what'll stop them! Deploying laser blasters! Yeah, wait! I didn't know we had lasers! These'll blast those asteroids to bits! And we better hurry! Three of them are almost here! Come on! We need to program our lasers to blast them! Time to get coding! Check it out! This instruction will tell the robots to blast their lasers. And this repeat code will tell them how many times to do it. For three asteroids, we need to do three blasts. Which of these is the number three? Yeah, that's it! So our code is go, laser blast, repeat three times, stop! Laser blast! One, two, three! And stop! Woohoo! Got him! Take that, asteroids! Ah, uh, Blaze, we can use some help over here! We've got seven more asteroids headed this way! Hurry! Let's write a code to blast seven times! Which of these is the number seven? Yeah, that's it! Now we have our code! Go! Laser blast! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And stop! <laughs> nice work, everyone! Looks like we got rid of all the asteroids! That true? Except for those asteroids over there! Wow! Hoppin' Hopcats! That's a lot of asteroids! You can do it, robots! You just need a code to blast 100 times! 100 times? Come on! We've got to help the robots do 100 blasts! Which of these is the number 100? 100! Yeah! We've got the code! Go! Laser Blast 100! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, 
Wow, the asteroids! And now we can help Commander Megan. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Way to go, space robots! I knew you could do it! We're just glad you're okay, Commander Megan. Now come on, everyone! Let's fix that ship and get Commander Megan back to planet Earth! Yeah! Let's do it! But looks like I'm gonna need some help getting out of these vines. Do not worry, I help. Whoa, who said that? It's me, Megabot. Should Megabot cut the vines with laser power or banana power? Laser power, of course. Cut vines with. Friends need soft landing! To give Blaze a soft landing, should Megabot use rock power or bubble power? Yes! Bubble power! Megabot use bubble power! <laughs> Blaze is covered in mud! Should Megabot clean him up with water power? or Nacho's power. Definitely water power. Great work! Megabot make clean with water power! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Megabot. You really helped us. My name's AJ, and that's Blaze. Hello! It's nice to meet you, Blaze and AJ. Wow! You can do so many cool things, Megabot. I bet you'd be a big hit at the robot parade. Robot parade? What is robot parade? It's a big celebration. Just for robots like you. Ooh, robot parade look fun. Hey, I've got an idea, Megabot. Why don't you come with us? Yeah, we can take you to the robot parade. Oh, yes! Megabot wants! Megabot wants to go to Robot Parade! <laughs> All right! Follow us, Megabot! To the Robot Parade! <laughs> Woohoo! Must be a glue geyser. Oh no! Megabot cannot go to parade if stuck in glue. Don't worry, Megabot. I've got an idea how we can get past that glue geyser. Yeah, we just need to know its diameter. Diameter is the distance across the middle of a circle. And glue geysers are shaped like circles. If we measure their diameter, we can block the geyser so they can't blast any more glue. Come on, let's measure the diameter of that first glue geyser. The hole has a diameter of this number. What number is this? Six, yeah! Now we just need a circle with that same diameter. Woo, Megabot help! <laughs> Circle with diameter six! Whoa! Megabot's cutting a circle with her laser power! I'll take it from here, Megabot! Megabot! Robot free! 
right, here we come! Megabot can't wait to get to Robot Parade! <laughs> Us too, Megabot! Whoa, hang on! That looks like smoke! Gaskets! There are fires up in those trees! Whoa! Megabot, help! Use water power! Oh, but water not go high enough to put out flames! Don't worry, Megabot. Blaze and I can help lift you up higher. Yeah, we just need a turntable ladder truck. To make a turntable ladder truck, first, drag over the tall ladder. Ladder! Nice! Now, drag over the hydraulic piston rod. It makes the ladder move up and down. Piston rod! Great work! Last, drag over the turntable. The turntable lets us spin the ladder in any direction. Turntable! Oh, yeah! I'm a turntable ladder truck monster machine! Ooh, wonderful! Hop in, Megabot! Let's put out those fires! Megabot? There's Axel City! We're getting close to the robot parade! Megabot's so excited! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Megabot, this way! Crusher, Pickle, and all those robots are stuck on top of those giant pancakes. We've got to help them. But how will we get all the way to the top of that giant stack of pancakes? Ooh, Megabot, no. Make friends go high in air with bubble power. We'll help you. Let's count to make a bubble with a diameter of 10. Count to 10 with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! On, Megabot, it's time to use blazing speed. <laughs> to give us blazing speed, say, Let's blaze! Let's blaze! <laughs> Yay. We did it, Megabot! Blaze, AJ, 
and Megabot make great team! Ooh, listen, everyone! It's time for the robot parade to start! Ooh! Parade! Yeah, but we still don't know which robot's gonna lead the parade! I think Megabot should lead parade! Megabot! 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 Do you hear that, Megabot? All the robots want you to lead the parade! Wow! But Megabot cannot lead parade alone! Why not, Megabot? Because Megabot want to lead parade with Blaze and AJ! Do it, Megabot! Let Robot Parade begin! Robot Parade! Today is the Deep Sea Grand Prix! We just have to turn me into an underwater vehicle. A submarine! Come on, let's get building. First, we need to drag over the hull. That's the body of the submarine. Great work! Next, we'll need a propeller. Next, drag over the propeller so Blaze can move quickly through the water. Fantastic! Last, we need to drag over the ballast tank so Submarine Blaze can move up and down in the water. Amazing! Woohoo! I'm a submarine monster machine! Wow! Hop in, AJ, and give me some submarine Deep Sea Grand Prix, here we come! <laughs> hey, look, it's Blaze! Welcome to the race! Oh, I can't believe he's gonna be in the race, too! Undersea racers, on your marks, get set, go! Oh, I've gotta stop that guy, and I know the perfect way to do it! I'll cheat! <laughs> Say hello to my trapper fish! Blaze <laughs> can't win the race if he's trapped inside a trapper fish! <laughs> Blaze, watch out! Whoa. Oh. Whew. That was close. Oh man, there are so many trapper fish. What do we do, Blaze? Hmm, we need some way to get past them. And I've got an idea. What if we float the trapper fish away? Yeah, when you put something in the water, it either sinks down or floats up. And we know something that always floats up in the water. Air! If something gets filled up with enough air, it'll float up in the water. Then, if a trapper fish traps it, it'll make the trapper fish float away too. Hey, I bet something in this old shipwreck floats. Which do you think will float? The light balloon or the heavy rock? Okay, let's test them and see. The balloon is floating, yeah! That's because it's full of air! Quick, here comes the trapper fish! Let's give him the balloon! Oh, right! It worked! He's floating away! Now there's just one trapper fish left! Hmm, I wonder where it could be! Blaze, look! I bet something in here can float that trapper fish away! Which do you think will float this time? The tire tube 
or the heavy metal spoon? Okay, let's find out. The tube is floating. It must have lots of air inside. Here you go, Trapper Fish! <laughs> we did it! We got past the Trapper Fish! Now let's hurry so we can catch up with the other racers. Yeah! Submarine, go! Blaze, look out! Whoa. Yeah! Oh, cap. Those look like chomping shark flowers! Oh man, they're everywhere, Blaze! They're growing out of the floor and the ceiling! The only way we're gonna get past those shark flowers is to steer past them. And we can do it with the power of floating! Yeah! Remember, things float when they have enough air inside them. And a submarine has a special part that can fill with air. A ballast tank! Yeah! When air goes into the ballast tank, it pushes the water out, and we float higher. Then, if we want to sink lower, we push the air out again and let the water come back in. Come on! Let's use floating and sinking to steer past those shark flowers. How should we steer to go past these shark flowers? Over or under them? Over! Yeah! Adding air to our ballast tank! Yeah! We got past them! Look, there's the end of the tunnel! To make it past these last shark flowers, should we go over or under them? Blaze, look! It's Crusher's submarine! And there's the giant sandcastle! That's the finish line to the Deep Sea Grand Prix! If we don't hurry, Crusher's gonna get there first! Oh no, he's not! Because we've got submarine blazing speed! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! of the Deep Sea Grand Prix is... Submarine Blade! Whoa! Let's hear it for Submarine Blade! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Submarine Blade! Submarine Blade! Submarine Blade! Submarine Blade! Upcaps, what's making all that noise? Oh no, look! Giant toys! And the only way to make them shrink small again is to push the green buttons. See? There's a green button on top of all of the toys. Well then we've got to catch those giant toys and shrink them down to size. We need to stop those giant toys. What color is the button that makes them smaller again? Right, it's green. That toy train spilled soapy water all over the road. Well, we can't drive through a slippery spill, so to catch that train, we'll have to clean it up. We'll use absorption. Absorption is when something pulls in a liquid like water and holds it inside. Take a look. Things that are good at absorption have lots of spaces in them. When you clean up a spill, the water fills those spaces and stays inside. Which do you think can absorb the water? A pencil or a sponge? Okay, let's put it in water and see. <sighs> nice work. Uh-oh, but it just made another big spill. And this time, it's super slippery orange juice. Which do you think can absorb the orange juice? 
A frying pan? Or a towel? Awesome! Wow, that's absorbent! We did it! Yeah! Oh no! To press that green button, we're gonna have to get through one last spill. A puddle of super slippery chocolate milk! Which do you think can absorb the chocolate milk? A wrench? Or napkins? Let's see! Great work! Yeah! We did it! And there's the giant toy train! AJ, give me some speed! We pressed the shrink button! And look! The toy train is getting smaller and smaller! Aw, now it's the perfect size to play with! Check it out! There were three giant toys, but we just shrank the train! How many giant toys are left? Two, yeah! The dinosaur and the octopus! Come on, Monster Machines! Let's find those toys! Yeah! Look! There goes the dinosaur toy! It's stomping through that junkyard! We've got to hurry and press that shrink button to make it small again! This way! I'll take it from here! Electric Star! Aw, you're actually pretty cute now that you're not making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. We shrunk the toy train and the toy dinosaur. How many toys are left? Right, now there's just one giant toy left. The water squirting octopus. This way, everyone. Let's go find that octopus. <laughs> it's over there on top of the tallest ride. And it looks like it's about to blast more water. No! Oh, oh, look out! Water drops! Ah! Oh, let's get out of here! Phew! That water blasting octopus is making a huge mess. We've got to find some way to get up there and shrink it. Before we get hit by a giant water drop! Whoa! Phew! I wish there was some way we could absorb those giant water drops. To soak up all the water, we need something absorbent. Should we clean up the mess with a mop or a tire? Yeah, the mop is more absorbent. Mops can pull in lots of water. That's why they're so good for cleanup. Look, it blasted out one drop. And here come two more. How many drops are there all together? Three! Yeah! It's absorption time! One, two, three! Yeah! Way to use those mops! The octopus toy is about to blast even more this time! Two drops, plus one drop, and two more! How many drops are there all together? Five! Yeah! Ready? Set! Absorb! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Yeah! We did it! Now there's only one thing left to do! Press that green button and shrink that octopus! But we better hurry! It's getting ready to blast the most water yet! Come on, Watts! It's time to use blazing speed! Oh yeah! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> Little octopus, I think you're the perfect size now. <laughs> Good work, team! We saved Axel City from the giant toys! Yeah! And now that all the toys are the right size, I know just what we should do. What's that, Gabby? Let's play! You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nickelodeon's Blaze and the Monster Machine's YouTube channel for new videos every week.